Steve, I understand that you have a membership. People are members of Studio 54. Right. They, they're cardholders. There's a lot of controversy about that because a lot, I turn away cardholders very often. If they, come, if they come in and if they're high when they're walking in, or if they come in and they're pushy when they come in, no different. The cardholder really is a, um, he pays a reduced rate, that's all. It gives them no more right than anybody else who's on the street. A cardholder means what, then? A uh, card how much does he pay for the card? Hundred and fifty dollars. Right. That entitles him to what? Not get in? Uh, sometimes <laughs> he gets a uh, he gets a reduced rate of uh, he only pays seven dollars at the door, and uh, he gets invited to special uh, events that occur there. We had one Monday night. Matter of fact, the new series, the uh, People series, is filming there, and it's a uh, Farrah Fawcett, that Farrah Fawcett party, they're promoting uh, Farrah Fawcett. Yeah, who was at that party? Because that was kind of uh, a knockout. Very unusual people, from Harry Grant to the board of directors of Fabergé. People have never been to discotheques in the world, and they just had a real, real fabulous time. And they, it was a Monday night. There were about 16 inches of snow on the ground, and we were expecting no one. A thousand people showed up. Now, what happened? What happened to the people who don't get in in a 20 foot in a 20 inch snowstorm? Well, I, I, they must be pretty mad. Well, I got punched a couple of times. People, one fellow walked up to me one time and said, "What is going to make you?" I said to him, what is going to make you happy? You just can't, you won't be able to get in tonight. He said, oh, I'd like to punch you. So I said, okay, go ahead, punch me. So the guy walks up and he just punched me. I said, now that you feel better? He said, no. I said, what will make you happy? He said, punch me again. I said, go ahead, punch me again. <laughs> and he flattened me. <laughs> but uh, we have all kinds Wouldn't of... Wouldn't it have been easier to let him in? No, because he would have punched someone inside, probably. I see. You know, that really, what we're trying to do at the door is make it... You know, okay, so we don't care about people's finances or what they do for a living or anything like that. We just want people to be able to come in there and have a good time and not be concerned that something can happen around them. You know, you have, you know, 2,000 people in the room and controlling them is very difficult. Very difficult. How much of a staff do you have to do that? Uh, How many people work there? 150. That's a big table. Right, and they're all theatrical people, so it's... Uh, uh, very, very difficult. We have drops that come down, regular, like just like a regular theater, and those people are back there. And we have a lot, large, large cleanup crew in the bars. And so we have like 10 bartenders on the You're going to make a movie there. Yeah, we're story. doing a film. I Something that I wanted to get into, and uh, my partner Ian also wanted to get into, we wanted to produce a film. And uh, we're using the avenue of the studio because I think it's a lot of fun. I think it portrays a disco much more realistically than Saturday Night Fever does. Uh, and uh, we hope to do it in a, a, like at a higher, you know, what goes on in the studio and what is today, Saturday Night Fever, is a little what was two or three years ago. It was a little dated. I want to ask you this. Um, the disco, or any favorite spot of the in-group, of the elite, of the chic, of the jet set, um, it, they tend to get weary of it. Uh, it has a fad, and then it fades. What do you think about that truth? in relationship to Studio 54? Well, we've been open about a year, maybe close to a year. We were hotter now than ever. Mm -hmm. In other words, there are more people wanting to get in. So uh, I don't know if we're that close to, um, I mean, I'm aware of anything in show business or theater or anything has a limited life. Chorus line is fabulous, but it's not going to be around forever. And uh, right now, we're very, very hot. Say if there were, we had a 100-day life, we're still at the very beginning of our life, we're in the childhood. Just being able to open up to other markets. And Are you going to franchise Studio 54? Will there be one in Chicago and Los Angeles? And no. And, uh, no, we're not well, building one in London because, and I am a one project person, and so is Ian. And uh, we, uh, I can only do one thing well at a time, I think. I mean, I just can't be doing uh, a lot of things to do a lot of things. And uh, we're all building one in London, right across from the Powell. So I hope the Queen will be pleased. But <laughs> you'll love it. <laughs> Those Amazing. crowds, that sound. Right, and uh, it's an old theater. It's a I'm great. Very happy with anything since since it's Marvin's up nine. Right, and it, it's it's an old. I'm afraid to go there for the reaction, but uh, it's an old theater, and it's just a great old theater. And I like working with the old theaters. Ian loves working with the old theaters, and we're just going to build it completely different than Studio 54 in New York. It's be just uh, the only semblance will be it'll be in the theater, and the people will be the show. Last question. How long do you think the discotheque craze itself will last in this country? Well, the discos have been going on. They really never died since Arthur really began the whole thing in the early 60s. They've been going on in different 
different ways and different fashions. They were very low key and very underground for a while because they were, they were called juice bars. And um, they were but they were very profitable. And uh, they went well on. They had a little Les Jardins uh, at one point after this. Then it was Infinity as a hot one in Alan's studio. Uh, regimes for a different type of people. So I'd say they're much more serious and not as fun loving. And right now it's it hasn't even begun to peak. It's a tremendous growth industry just as a business. It's fascinating just to look at it from the point of view of being a business. It, uh, magazines like Business Week and Forbes are first taking note of it as a business. This is a recent guest accused me of being an Eastern elitist. Uh, I've never been to Studio 54, true? Right. Okay, I'm coming. I just want to establish that I'm not an Eastern elitist. No, and one of the few, really. Right. Cause most Thank you for that compliment. Uh, <laughs> you'll be seeing me very soon. Thanks very much. Steve. Okay. We'll be back.